Hey guys, and welcome to the first of many video tutorials on setting up Phaser and making games with this amazing framework. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to set up a development server using Parcel.js with Node, and we're going to create a Phaser template that we're going to be using for all of our games that we're going to be making from here on out. So, first things first, a couple of things you're going to need to get this tutorial started is Node.js. At the time of recording, the latest long-time support version is 12.16.1, so go ahead and download this for your computer. I'm also using a package manager called Yarn. Now you can use NPM, like it comes with Node.js. Um, I prefer Yarn, it's just a little bit faster, I'm used to it now, so you feel free to grab this as well. It's an optional dependency, you don't need it. Um, and the next thing you'll need is Parcel. Now you don't need to download this. Once you've got Node.js downloaded and installed, I'm going to show you how to set this up and get Phaser, which is our game framework up and running. So I've got a folder set up on my computer under my D drive under Phaser, and I'm just going to make a new folder in there called Template. So this is completely blank. I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code, which is a really great free IDE. Uh, you can feel free to grab this one as well from from VS Code over here. Go ahead and grab that. And we're in our folder here, which we've set up in Phaser Tutorials Phaser Template. And if you don't have this terminal window up and open, press Control and Tilde, which is the key to the left of your one on most keyboards, and you'll get the terminal window showing up here. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up a yarn or an npm package. I'm going to type yarn uh, init dash y. And that's just going to set up a package JSON for us here. Then the next thing we need is uh, the parcel bundler. So I'm going to do a yarn add parcel bundler. And we also need our phaser game framework. So I'm going to type phaser and press enter. So Yarn's going to go off and fetch both of those packages for us and the reason we're doing it this way is so that we have a local development server up and running with Parcel so we don't need to install any other extra add-ons like Light Server or the Live Server add-on that comes with Visual Studio Code which you can grab. Uh, we're just going to get this one up and running. So once we've got our node modules set up I'm going to go after dependencies and set up a new script and I'm going to call this dev oops, dev and that is going to run parcel index.html and we want to open the server so we haven't created a index.html file yet so let's go ahead and do that I'm just going to create a new file index.html and in here I'm going to press the exclamation mark and then tab that's going to generate our uh, HTML scaffold and I'm just going to call this phaser template. So with that we also need um, the JavaScript file which is going to kickstart our game and I'm going to prefer to use TypeScript in this because it's going to help us down the track with when we start um, strictly typing our variables and it's going to make things a little bit easier because it's going to help us out by picking out errors which we may not see before we actually get to building the game. So I'm going to create a new file here called uh, game.ts and ts being TypeScript. Now the handy thing about Parcel is it's going to go out and fetch all the dependencies we might not have installed. We've only installed the Parcel Bundler and Phaser Game Framework and those two are fine for now. I'm just going to go into the body tag here and type in script and a source. I'm going to link this to my game.ts file. So if I save that, save our package JSON as well, because we need that parcel working. And if we run now yarn dev, parcel's going to kick in and it's going to download any dependencies that it needs and it's going to open up a server with our phaser template. So if I go to inspect and we just go to the console, you see nothing's loaded here first, but I'm going to push this window to the right of my screen and open that. So if we head along to our game TS and I just do a console log, 
just to make sure that it's working. And we'll say game loading, save, and our hot reload is working, which is great. So let's go ahead and set up the phaser template now. I'm going to import phaser from phaser, just so we get some strict typing. And the first thing phaser needs is a class. Well, the first thing we're going to make is a class that inherits the phaser game object. So I'm going to set up a class. I'll just call it uh, game for now. And that's going to extend phaser.game. And the first thing we need in a class of phaser game is the constructor. And in there we need to call the super method, which calls the parent class. And this needs a phaser game config. So you can see the TypeScript's kicking in with uh, code hinting of what we need. So with this game config, I'm just going to open up an object in here. I'm going to type in a width of, say, 800 and then a height of 600 and that should hold for now and then we're going to call the new game by instantiating it so I'm going to set up a let variable with game and we're going to call a new game object so save that and once phaser kicks in you can see parcel going out and fetching other dependencies and here we go we got our phaser game in our browser up and running nice and quick. So just to make sure that the template's working we're going to try and load uh, an object and what I'm going to get here is just an image from my desktop and I'm going to put it into this folder so in my template folder where we set up our phaser template in the distribution folder which parcel has gone automatically made for us I'm going to just create a new folder in here shortcut new folder I'm going to call it images and I'm going to copy in this Pikachu picture because that's what we'll use for a template that's fine so after we've loaded our game we want to load a scene into that game so I'm going to set up a new class and this is just a um, testing template to make sure everything works. Uh, typically in later tutorials we're going to separate all of our classes into different TypeScript files and then import them. Phaser.scene and just like our game object this too needs a constructor and we're going to call the super method inside here and the only thing that this needs here you can see the code hinting said config just needs a string or a settings config which we're not going to bother with for now a string is more than enough so we'll just call that level one and let's make sure we can get this file here this picker png we want this loaded into our game in the center of the screen and just spinning around so there's three things you need in a phaser scene uh, bare minimum two you need is the preloader and the create method and we're also going to use the update method. So I'm going to type preload. We've got the create method and finally the update method. So after we've set up our class for level one, if we want a variable to be manipulated in any of these uh, methods, we need to create a global variable out of it. So I'm going to create a variable here called picker and with TypeScript we're going to type it to a phaser game object game objects dot sprite so in the preload method we can just call the scene which is this and then we want to load an image and the first thing we need is to give it a key so we can call it later in the create method and I'm just going to call this key picker and where we're going to grab the URL from next is if we look in our template folder in the dist folder you can see I put the images folder here in picker now we need to call an image relative to this index HTML this is the HTML that parcel has bundled for us so this is our source code our working one 
and this is the parcel bundle one. You can see our game's been translated here to this JavaScript file. So we'll be calling the images from here relative to this HTML. So to do that, I'm just going to go here and call images and then pika.png, I believe it was. Yep. So once our image is loaded, we can then assign it to a sprite. And our sprite is called pika in our level one scene. And the handy thing in Visual Studio Code is if you type in the global uh, variable's name, you can press enter and we'll automatically put this in for you, which is you know just one little thing that's going to save a bit of time. And this picker is going to be equal to this scene, and we're going to add to our scene a sprite. And the sprite, we're going to set what is its x and y position first. So I'm just going to halve the stage and we're going to do that without doing anything fancy, just going to hard code in 400, 300 and then it's asking for what texture that it wants and the key for that texture which we've called up above picker so that's great we've got our sprite assigned to our picker and we've got it assigned here so if we press save it should rebuild and right now you won't see anything because our level one which is this phaser scene hasn't been added to our game yet so let's quickly add that in we're going to add a scene Uh, method here or scene variable and we're just going to add that into an array I'm going to call it level 1 so if we save this now we should get a Pikachu face in the middle of the screen and just to make sure our update methods working as well let's call Pika and we'll set its rotation to plus equal 0 0.01 so that should hopefully make it spin around which it is. So that's great. We've got our phaser game template up and running now. Uh, go ahead and save this one because we'll be using this template a lot across all the rest of the tutorials. So I hope you got something out of this one and you can see how easy it is to set up a web server with phaser using just a couple of things. Uh, yeah, catch you in the next tutorial guys. See ya.